All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you how to copy from one GNS3 project to another GNS3 project without changing or affecting the original project. So let's say you have a a, a project or lab all all figured out and all saved up to just the way you want it in GNS3. All your devices are in place. You got some routers going. You got a virtual machine. Um, all your uh, labeling's in place, you got like a whole bunch of different stuff here and there labeled and notes on and all that good stuff and you want to save that topology as your your base or your template so that you can then in, in further labs build upon that you know let's say you want to add some uh, a firewall or something or you want to just experiment with with the lab without actually affecting or changing your original lab now originally when I first tried this I thought that by simply uh, copying the lab uh, folder in the file system and renaming the folder and renaming the project file um, that I would be able to you know open that new save what I thought was a new project and open it up in GNS3 make my changes and save it and everything would be fine uh, but I was couldn't I, I couldn't have been more wrong um, what uh, the original what happened is is that yeah I was able to save those that the, those new configs but I definitely also changed the original and the reason is is because every project that you save in GNS3 has what's uh, what's called a project ID number and that's how GNS3 and now the GNS3 VMs identify one project from another but there, I finally have figured out a way. There is a way where you can actually now do this. Uh, so let's open up GNS3. Now with GNS3, it's actually with the 1.5x versions of GNS3, it, this is easier now because you can now export configs from your devices. And so before we can do that, I think I originally tried this with uh, version 1.4.6 and because there wasn't any that because there was no such thing as exporting or importing configs onto devices um, I had to just copy and paste all the configs which isn't that terrible thing to do but it's still an extra step that all changes now it's even easier so let's create let's say uh, let's call this test original oops original okay so this is our original lab that we're going to create and we're going to make this real real simple just so that you can see you can get the, the point so we'll pull out bring out one router we'll bring out one XP virtual machine we'll connect these two okay fast Ethernet zero zero uh, let's start these guys up our one XP is starting good Right, you can see down. Whoops! You can see down here. My XP box is starting up. Good. Now I think this uh, box already has an IP. So IP config. And yeah, one uh, one dot three. All right. So let's go to our router. Oh, come on now. You know what? I don't have time to deal with Super Putty at the moment. Let's just open good old Putty. Ah, and there's too late Super Putty. We're just gonna go with Putty. Okay. All right. So let's just do something real simple. We're gonna assign the F00 interface, a simple IP address, and nothing more. No shutdown. We should let's wait for the interface to come up. Okay, it's up one do ping 192.168.1.3. And wow, okay, so we can do that. I'm pretty sure this is gonna work, but let's just do this anyway. Test it 192.168.1.1. Cool. We have we now know we have connectivity between our devices. So we can uh you know what? Let's uh end here save your config save your topology we'll save here so let's say now this is getting back to what I was saying before let's say you have all your your labeling here you have uh, I don't know F some kind of 
cool note over here and then you have you know some kind of zone here if you're using firewalls or maybe some other kind of whatever down here you get the idea and say this is this is the topology you want to keep and you want to build off of and you don't want to change this one uh, let's say you want to make another topology and just you know maybe mess around with it and just test it so that you don't have to uh, uh, and so you don't put your original lab uh, at risk so what we'll do is we're gonna save this guy again now here is where you will you'll need to export your configs from your iOS devices so we'll right click on the router click on export config and then it's gonna save the config for the CFG file the config file right in the same lab file so we'll do this is the starter config just click save this is the private config not that we have anything really private there but okay so now that we have that configured now we can just stop the project not really sure why I didn't stop the virtual machine but okay and now we can build a new one so we'll call this one test copy all right so through trial and error I figured out that just by creating a new lab it doesn't automatically assign it a topo a uh, project ID number just yet um, so what you need to do is bring out some kind of iOS device so we'll just bring out the router again and then we'll save that and that's it now clear your board just click on new project hit cancel alright minimize minimize all this stuff here now go to the file system where your projects are so for me it would be here on the labs go to the original lab uh, lab project here test original right click on the project file on the GNS3 project file click on edit GNS3 project file and here you're going to see the project ID number that identifies this particular project in both GNS3 and on the VM. So what you want to do is copy everything from the revision line down. Right click, copy. Real easy. Minimize that. Now go to your copy lab, the, the, the lab that you want to copy to. Let's do the same process. Right click on the project file, edit GNS3 project file and then right, highlight everything underneath the project ID, ID number and what you notice right off the bat is these numbers are different so you would paste that you're gonna save here it's gonna it's gonna give you some kind of a template warning or formatting warning that no, doesn't matter no big deal just click yes to save it close these guys down now go back to GNS3 say open a project Go to your copy project. You're the one, the uh, one you, uh, the second one that you're basing off of from the original. Open that. Now this should look exactly like the original, including your XP, your virtual machine, uh, your virtual XP machine, which is awesome. So now what you want to do. So what happens is if you go ahead and start this lab right now, the router doesn't have any config to it. Why? Because even though we've copied the physical topology, the GNS3 VM doesn't have any config saved to it because we didn't save anything to it. But because we can import and export configs, this is where before you turn the device on, you can right click on it, import config, go to the original lab file, which is what, test original. It's asking for, if you look up the top left, it's looking for the startup config first. Then it's asking for the private config. Um, we don't have anything there, so we could just click on open and it'll import it but just to show you you can also click on cancel and it won't import that but it'll it, it'll still work uh, so now we can run let me just make sure our XP machine still has a correct network adapter let's go here uh, I can look at it actually yeah that needs to change oops so we'll go here settings network not attached that's fine okay cool so now we should be able to start this project up all right double clicked to get your console window up 
here we go. Don't know what all that is. And now let's just do a quick show IP interface brief. And there's your config. Now, we should be able to ping. If you, uh, maybe is the interface up? Yeah, yeah. So let's, we should be able to ping our VM. Ah. Ping. Dot three. All right. Yep. And there we go. So here, basically, we just copied from the original topology to this uh, new topology, and it looks exactly like the original. And you keep your config, and everything is, is running the way it should be. So let's say you want to make a change to it. So we'll do like a simple, I don't know, we'll put something here make just to make it different. So now you would save here, save your project, end it. And now we're just going to open the original project file. Nope. I guess I have to stop that. Nope, not new. Open original. Go to the original file. And here you go. This is your original project. everything loading up fine and you've copied from it made a change to it and that other circle that we had here that's not here and so that's it that's how you actually can pull this off now i uh, i hope this is uh this helps somebody out i hope, uh, hope it makes somebody uh, uh <laughs> lab work a lot easier and uh, quicker to uh to keep working and keep building and keep studying keep learning all right guys thanks